Hey guys, Greg C96 here, and welcome to the Morning Commute episode roughly 24, question mark? I actually have no idea, I think it's 24, um, but I, I, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've done a Morning Commute, and frankly, I haven't looked at the old ones to see what episode I'm left off on. This, I usually just keep the camera in my car and decide to roll when I want to roll. And I got stuck behind a couple slow vehicles here who don't seem to want to drive. And I decided what more perfect of a time to record the morning commute, even though it's not the morning. This morning, this morning wasn't conducive to recording the morning commute because, um, well, it was too dark out because I left early this morning because of the weather. Because um, we are in the aftermath of the blizzard of 2017. Yeah, <laughs> let's just talk about that for a little bit. Um, the highways are pretty much dry this morning. Main roads leading up to the highway and both where I was coming from and where I was going to for work were crappy. Um, I get off the exit to get to work. Uh, it's only a couple miles away from where I work when I get off the highway. And there's no traffic lights. They're just totally off. The Dunkin' Donuts gas station area that I usually stop at in the morning, the lights are off. No one's there. The McDonald's across the road, lights are off. No one's there. I'm thinking to myself, good. I get up here, I drive an hour to get to work, and there's no power. Now, that would be great. Um, luckily, that was not the case. I did work a full day. Um, but it was just it was interesting this morning because I ended up having to get on I-93 as opposed to just taking the back way. Because when I took the back way, it was a problem of there were fine for a little bit and then there were the little traffic cop sawhorse thingies blocking the road this morning. Um, I found out from a co-worker the reason they were blocking the road is a big ass tree fell right down across the road in someone's house. So by the end of the day I was hoping that it would be cleared. It was not. There were more traffic cone thingies so I had to turn around and get back on to 93 to get where I was going back on 495. And a weird, weird thing about 93, the breakdown lane, which obviously intersects the on-ramp, there are certain times of day where you're allowed to travel in that lane. So you get no run-up for the on-ramp. So your yield signs on the on-ramp might as well be stop signs. It's just freaking ridiculous. This person in front of me is a real problem. They have plenty of gap and they don't want to drive their freaking car. I might just get a run. Oh, thank God, they're moving over. That's a pulse. I've only been stuck behind them for like five minutes at this point. But yeah, so. It's like, you know. What kind of stupid crap is that? How do you expect me to get onto the highway if you have people blasting by in not even just the right lane of the highway, but blasting by into the on-ramp one up so I can't even get speed to get into the traffic? It's, it's stupid. I don't understand the choice there. It's the only highway in the area like that. I didn't even know that was a thing until today because I don't use it for the reason that it's awful always. I usually take the back way 133, but the back way 133 to my work was all blocked today because of that tree, so I ended up having to do it. And it was just, it was annoying. And then, of course, my Dunkin' Donuts was closed, so I started the day off with no breakfast. So I ended up eating my lunch for breakfast, and I ended up having to buy lunch today. So that was, you know, kind of annoying. Uh, but now I'm on my way home to go have dinner and do a couple things and then stream tonight. So yeah, I don't know, overall not too bad of a day. Just the drive this morning was obnoxious because we had quite a bit of snow and wind yesterday for quite a long period of time. It snowed for, I would say, roughly 14 hours of snow, 16 hours of snow, and in the middle it was falling at a rate of like 3 inches an hour, which is just 
nutty. Um, so yeah, there was that. And um, on our road, I live on like a private dirt road. There's a T at one point in the road. Well, the T is normally where I go to turn uh, to get down to the main road to get ready to go to the highway to go to work. Well, I get there this morning, and it turns out when the plows came by last night, not only did they leave a three or a two foot tall ridge of snow and dirt on the edge of my driveway, making it impossible for me to get out without having to clear it first. They left a four foot tall ridge through the opening of the tee, so I then had to back up a snowy, slippery hill so that I could turn around, because the road's only one car wide, so I could then turn around and go out the other way. It's like, what are you, what are you doing? Why is that something that they, they determined was just perfectly fine for them to leave? makes no sense to me. But I guess it doesn't have to as long as it makes sense to the city, right? I'm just surprised I didn't manage to have any sort of terrible internet outage during the storm. So I was able to at least accomplish some things yesterday. So that was good. We're off the smooth pavements, and now it's time for road noise. So I think for the welcome back, welcome back morning commute. Um, I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up because that's that's really all that's on my mind today. Just how awful the roads were. The nice thing is, you know, they're dry now, so not even like they're just wet. They're just they're totally dry, so there's no more issues there. Um, until I get off the highway anyways. But that's about all I've got for today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let me know if you're happy this series is back. This is going to be kind of like a open, off-the-cuff, I talk about whatever I feel like talking about type of thing. So, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.